sorry, but the, the, the Highway 85 around here is just, it's crumbling into ruins, and so you're bouncing. So anyway, I just wanted to say hey, and here we are on an afternoon that um, I'm doing a few things, but I'm going to go over to the Greenville um, Falls Park where I'm going to relax out in the sun a little bit and get out of my house. You know, when you work out of the house and you have to force yourself to break out of your mold. Not that I'm not constantly in this car, but still I'm usually just doing errands and things. You know, setting up for yourself time to breathe. Setting up time to think. You know, and do y'all do that? Do you set up time to think? To think about... That sounds dumb, doesn't it? Do you give yourself time to think? But really, we don't think. We don't think about what it is we want. We don't think about how we're going to get there. We don't think about the steps we're going to take, you know? I was thinking about that, like, there were several things I was thinking about, but number one, I've said this before, can you picture yourself as who you're wanting to be as you become healthy and you become, maybe you're imprisoned in a slave by blank, whatever it is, you know, or you're brought down by life, or you're brought down by X person, or whatever, or your own mind keeping you imprisoned what's it going to look like when you're not like that anymore when you're not a slave to food or your toxic habits or toxic thoughts or toxic people when you set up boundaries and you can visualize yourself you know first of all we have to set up boundaries and then we have to monitor the borders right we have to monitor those and we have to reevaluate them to make sure the fence is tight on the boundaries you know what I mean because it's easy to let your guard down on those and it's easy to forget the why you set those up and it's easy to believe the lies of this world and of people and the trickery of your own mind basically it's not anybody else's fault it's our own so are we setting up boundaries and are we monitoring the borders you know but before we can even do that, are we thinking about what the boundaries are that we need to set up to get to the better version of ourselves? When we can set up boundaries and rituals, the things we do every day, that's what gets you to what you want to be tomorrow. You're either going to build up your health or you're going to break it down with every bite, with every drink, and every thought you put into your body and mind. That's a fact. I think we can all agree on that, no matter how much people are arguing on, on social media. I think that that really is true. The, the cause and effect. Can we all agree that there's a cause and effect? You know, um, I have no need to be right. I have no need to convince anyone of anything. I have a need to do my own thing and set up boundaries so no one stops me from doing it. And it's quite freeing, really. My voice doesn't need to be louder than anyone else's. My words don't need to be stronger and more convincing than anyone else's. I really don't care, you know, and it's quite freeing. But are you caring about yourself enough to take the time to think about what you want? And what I was going to say is think about this. When you picture yourself down the road, let's, let's just give it like a, a let's give it an in two years, okay? Maybe the road's not as bumpy in this next line. We'll change lines. Um, let's just think about that in two years. How would you picture yourself? Are you going to have lost 50 pounds? Are you going to have rid yourself of the dis-ease that your body is in? And now you can, you can almost feel the freedom of your body at ease, you know? Are you going to rid yourself of toxic relationships? Are you going to be in a different space? you know, with your finances, are you going to, I don't know what your goals and dreams are, but whatever they are, when you picture yourself then at your goal, okay, and, and another little side note on that, if you're a person who, let's just talk about weight loss, you need to lose 100 pounds, and sometimes I say to people, how much weight is it that, that would be your goal weight, how much, and maybe they have 100 pounds to lose, but people are very hesitant of saying, I'm going to lose 100 pounds, they won't name it and claim it, they'll say, well, if I could just lose 30, if I could just, why do we want to stop it at mediocre, mediocrity, why do we want that, when we see a dream,
dream for ourselves. What else are you going to do besides drive towards your dreams? What else do you have to do in this life besides get to the best? We got one shot. One shot alone at this life. But anyway, when you picture yourself as that, as the goal that you want to be at, you're going to be doing certain things in that state of your goal, okay? Let's just pretend that's you. There's going to be certain rituals you're doing. What are those things? They're going to be the things that, that got you there and are keeping you there. Do you understand that? Like, if you want to be fit, you're going to have to, I don't know, move your body, right? We all know this. If you want to lose weight, you are going to have to put the right fuel in your body so you can quit craving toxic junk that keeps you coming on back for more. You're going to have to funnel in nutrients. You're going to have to look at how much are you actually eating? How much do you need? How much body movement are you doing? How much? Okay. So you're going to have assessed that by that point and you are going to be doing those things that got you there and then keep you there. But here's the big question. If that's where you want to be and you see the rituals that you're doing then, okay, but they're way off from what you're doing now, how do you ever expect to get to that you when you're not plugging in the components now to get you there? Do you see what I mean? It's the same thing. All you've got to do is map a plan, do your plan, get to, to the results, keep the results. That's what I did. That's what I see lots of people doing. Let me say this. That's what I did on my health journey. I never want to present myself in a way that it looks like I have mastered myself because that is clearly way off. I, I realize about myself that I've mastered nothing. Be careful of people that tell you or come off as they know it all. It's typically their ego talking or a lot of times. But what I wanted to say was right now I feel like I have it under control with my health, my weight, my mental calm, my, but there's a lot of things in my life I'm working on. And I want to have a plan. I want to see where I want to be, you know? And am I doing those things now? Let's just say in a relationship, do you want a relationship that's long term, that's a loving bond relationship with mutual love and respect and caring? Though you're hanging out at bars at 2 in the morning and going home with every Tom, Dick, and Harry, or Jane or Jen, you know, or all of the above, and it's just like one, one night stand after another. I'm not doing that. That's just, <laughs> it sounded like it didn't. That's just an example. Or here's another thing. Do you want to cultivate respect from other people that you continue to take crap and you continue to teach them that you will allow that because you continue to let them do it and you keep coming on back for some more? Like they're a toxic potato chip. It isn't filling your needs nor nourishing your mind, body, soul, and spirit. So why are we doing it? Why do we do that? Because we don't take time to think. What if we took time to think? What if you took a day? It doesn't take that long. What if you took a day to decide that you were going to change? Setting up boundaries usually comes along with pain. Because say you're going to set up boundaries against, I don't know, your habitual situation of going back to toxic food. Though you use it for comfort, so there's going to be a void right there. And when there's a void, sometimes that can feel like pain, right? So instead of just filling the void with any other trash, you know, or filling it with too much, like you're still having a gluttonous lifestyle, though you've cleaned it up, but you're still eating like 6,000 calories a day until you've doped yourself down. You're still doping yourself up with food, you know? So instead of filling ourselves up with anything, what if we feel the situation? F-E-E-L. I've been using that in my life, that little analogy. Instead of just filling up, F-I-I-F-I-L-L, -L, feel the situation. 
because that's where change comes, you know. So anyway, back to the topic. What if, if you see where you want to be, what's that going to look like? And are you taking steps? And are you doing rituals every day that are going to get you to that goal, to the dream of you? No one, no one's going to do it for you but you. You know, we live in a really entitled society now where we think we want it to happen like that and we want somebody else to do it for us, but we don't think we need to work for what. I was just talking to my daughter about this, you know. It's just like if you want if you want to make $100,000 in a year, do you think you're going to go out tomorrow and make $100,000? No. But if you sit down and you just hope and dream you'll make that, but you're not doing anything to plug away, or you don't want to take the job at the car wash because it only pays you $10 an hour, and that's not $100,000 a year. Well, guess what? It's closer than you were. You're taking steps in that direction, and then you're going to build upon that. You can make some money, and you can turn that money into more money. The point is you're taking steps every day, you know, instead of just thinking, well, screw it, I can't make it happen, you know. So anyway, I just want to say that, and I wanted to just encourage you to look at what it, what is the hope and dream that you have for you. And if you don't have any for yourself, what do you hope you would be and dream that you would be for everybody else that you love in your life? Because sometimes we don't love ourselves enough yet to see that, but we love others. I used to be like that. And my kids are all that that kept me going and my ex-husband back then. And knowing that my mom, I'm my only child, and knowing that, and I had to save myself because no one was going to do that for me. And I'm so thankful I did, you know. And and the, the light is bright, friends, on the other side. And every day I wake up with renewed hope and dreams in my heart and mind of the next day, you know. That's what we're supposed to be like when we were kids, before the world took our hopes and dreams, you know. So anyway, I just want to say that. Now we have to get some dust flakes before we're on to the park where I will be doing what I just told you would be a good idea to do or suggested. Really, I was just telling you what I was going to do, which would be take a minute to think, you know. Anyway, I love y'all. See you later.